Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts, here to share with you a scripture from Revelations chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, followed by Pat's two cents. And unto the angel of the church in Saudi write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even in Saudi, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out. Oh, listen to this. And I will not blot out his name from the book of life. Let me read that exact. I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. You know what that means? That means he can blot it out. Do you? want to take that chance. I will read it one more time to keep it in context. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. That's a little scary, isn't it? The thought that Jesus can come on you as a thief in the night and you could be in the bed doing the do. You could be at the gambling casino doing the do, gambling your car away, gambling your house away, putting your family at risk, rather than trusting God to supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Rather than casting all your care upon him because he careth for you. You're showing where your faith is. If you have more faith in your sinful ways, expecting sin to give you a fatter paycheck and better results than what God gives, Jesus can erase your name. He can remove your name out of the book of life, which means your name might be there now, but there's no guarantee it will be there tomorrow next year, 10 years from now, when you think you got it in the bag, you're saved by grace. Yeah. Guess what? God's spirit will not always strive with you. So if I were you, I'd chill out, get my repentance on, get my act together, and get right with God. If you want to guarantee that your name remains in the book of life. Think about it.